Stay tuned for the very end. There's a surprise. Trust me, you'll love it. And I have found some negative ones, and they all connect in a strange way. So I think I should pause it here and scan what I did so I, you guys can see it. I'm so old school, and I'm still learning how to use computer. I probably there's probably a better way of doing this. This this this. Bear. So here are, this looks like a mad woman's drawings. Um, here is what, as I was researching, I thought it'd be fun to mark what I thought were ley lines, both positive and negative. So according to the photo I was reading the research from, Mattis Center, Mattis Summer, Mattis Center. <laughs> he believes that the major or the the main, like where it's coming from, the um, ley line is here and around. Where did I go? Main, right around here. This is the main uh, ley line. And so it would spread out like this. But from what I've seen, many researchers that are into the ley line stuff have found that, and I, I feel like that's more of what I'm getting a vibe from, that Egypt itself is like the main point of the ley line and it spreads from there. Could be Egypt, could be our, our, um, Antarctica, the way it's formed. I'm just me, this is me guessing. There's no science to this yet, really. <laughs> Um, so I found interesting was, or what I found interesting was that on the ley lines, many of the ley lines and Ghost Adventures kind of like, um, touched on this in one of their episodes. And I'm trying to remember, I think it was Route 66 <laughs> that they were on Goat's Bridge, I want to say. I'm such a fake fan. <laughs> But I think it was one of the episodes, and I think it was Jay that found this connection. Oh my god, you guys. Special announcement. Starting in March, you can now catch all my shows exclusively on Paraflix. Here's a sneak peek.